Hello everybody, I'm Tom Rouse and welcome to another video on my channel. Today I'm talking about my favourite five Wolves kits. Because as I'm recording this on Tuesday before the end of season dinner, I expect that the new kit is going to be revealed tonight. Because I'm putting this video together on Tuesday night, I don't know what the kit looks like at the moment, but here are a couple of examples of what it could look like. I personally have not liked many of the kits over recent years. Growing up in the 90s, I think we were a little bit spoilt for uh, creativity. And there were some amazing football kits. It's been a bit bland over recent years, so I just want to have a look back at some of my favourite kits. I'm going to start with talking about the 92-93 kit, uh, which was made, produced by the designer Molyneux. I think quite a few teams in the 90s did. It was a sort of in-house fabric or something, textile company. We sort of made our own shirts and it was the famous shirt that had tyre marks on it. You know, you've got a sponsor, Goodyear, what are they famous for? Tyres, get it on the shirt. In at number four is the 96 to 98 Puma shirt, which now makes me feel very, very old because this is now a classic shirt, a retro shirt that you're able to buy from the club shop. It's the one with lots and lots of little wolf's heads, which make up a big wolf's head. Uh, it's the shirt that we wore when we got to the semi-final of the FA Cup in 1998. The, my earliest memories of being a Wolves fan are in that shirt there, and I think I owned a version of the shirt when I was small as well. In at number three is the most recent shirt on my list. It's the Away shirt from 2010 to 2012. It was black shirt with a round orange collar with sporting bet on the middle. I really like, I think our Away kit should always be black. I always have liked the black Away kits that we've had. I think down the years we had one in 2003-04 in our Premier League season. We had one in 2008-9. In at number two for me is a personal favourite. My first ever Wolves kit that I had, it was the 93-96 to 96 kit made by Nutmeg. Uh, sponsors were Goodyear and it had the old, the, the badge of the city on the shirt as well which traditionally Wolves only wore when they got to cup finals. Back in the 1960s before there were badges and sponsors and kit makers and they just had plain gold shirts. They, Played in all gold, no badge, until they got to a cup final and they had special badges made and it was the badge of the city. So there was a, I don't know whether it was a anniversary of something. And my number one top kit is, is a kit that I had the whole set of. I had the shirt, the socks, the shorts. I also had the goalkeeper shirt from the, I think I had both goalkeeper shirts from this season. It was the 98 to 2000 Puma kit with all the pumas down the arms and I remember I think Leeds had an identical kit at the same sort of time. I loved it. I just loved it. I think I spent probably two or three years every day wearing that kit. Some people would argue that it's probably a bit lighter than old gold that kit but I just love it. It's clean and it just reminds me of summer. So let me know your favourite kits down below in the comments. So thank you very much for watching this video. Thank you for supporting the channel over the season. I'm not going to do an end of season review. I've decided because it's too depressing. I think I've said everything I've got to say about this season over the last couple of videos. So if you want to check that out, you can go and have a look. But I'm going to focus on the positives. Positives at the moment is that the new kit is coming out tonight. Hopefully it's going to be a good one. There's rumours that Adidas are going to be involved, but I think it's likely to be Puma, as there was a little advert in the programme on sun Saturday, Sunday, Sunday, which alluded to it being Puma again, which I don't really mind, but I just, I'm a, football kits are a bit bland at the moment. They're all sort of, you can tell what we're going to wear. If, you, if Arsenal released their Puma kit the week before us, then we know what we're going to be wearing. And it's just, there's no individuality anymore in football kits. I think they should be really unique and like Norwich in 1993 when they had the egg and cress away shirt. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like this video if you've enjoyed it and subscribe for even more Wolves content. See you soon. Bye bye.